What is going on, painting company owners? Brandon from Painting Marketing Pros here. I am out and about. It is dark, so just shooting it in the in the car today. Uh, one of the questions we get a lot from painting company owners, or, or one of the concerns that they'll have, is where do you spend? This is really for the smaller, um, smaller painting company owners. Is where do you spend a limited marketing budget? You know, if you only have a, a couple grand or even less to spend per month, where do you spend that? Right. How do you look at that? So, I mean, when you're, when, when you're looking at, and the answer of course is, is per usual, right. Is it depends. So when you're looking at kind of your long-term goal, what's your long-term goal, you're really building digital assets, building a real company that can run uh, without you that one day you could sell if you wanted to, right. I, I think it'd be nice to have the option to sell your business, to have the processes in place and everything to actually be able to sell it. Then ultimately, the the website, you know, getting that website ranked, being the online authority in your local space, that's key, right? And that's where you come into SEO and and a highly optimized website, right? Putting the investment into a website uh, to to have it be high converting, to have it be built with proper on page optimization, to ultimately get it ranked. Um, that's that's where that investment would want to go. Now, if you need leads today you know if it's one of those situations where you need to see that roi earlier sooner rather than later then google ppc is going to be your best bet you know running 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 facebook ads can work um etc miss it's gotten worse since the ios update rolled out middle of this year it can work uh if you do it the right way it's also a great way to feel like you're doing something and you're wasting your time so paid ads that's how you get wins today that's how you get wins, um, you know, this month. That's how you see the ROI. But ultimately, you're not really building the digital assets. You're not building that presence. The website, the SEO, that's a longer-term play. It's going to take you three months to really start seeing the results from that. So if you can invest comfortably, if you're, if you're uh, long-term, you know, if you're looking with a, a long-term lens at your marketing plan, then really invest in the digital assets. If you're really focused on, hey, I need money today, um, you know, paid ads, running well-structured paid ad campaigns can work well. If you really have a limited budget, like five hundred dollars or something, then I would just try one of the one of the paper lead sites. You know, Angie, something like that. But make sure that you're all over those leads, because otherwise you're going to waste your money and, and waste a lot of time with bad leads. And those aren't the great leads. You know, they're really not. But on a super tight budget, it's better than nothing. Hope this helps. Hope you guys are crushing the week. Happy Tuesday and uh, try to have a little better lighting tomorrow.